One man was killed and another man was injured in yesterday's shooting. St. Petersburg police detectives want to speak with the driver of this blue SUV. Investigators released this composite sketch of the suspected killer Thursday night. They say security camera footage shows the exact moment when the man opened fire, hitting the two men in the black BMW. Just kind of in shock, really, that um, that could happen, you know, in this area right outside my front door. It was Ryan Dunlop's camera that captured the violent exchange. Investigators are still working to figure out what led up to the shooting. They released this six second clip, but Dunlop says the entire video reveals a bit more. It shows one car pulling up and then another car pulling, you know, up beside it. Um, it seems like they're exchanging words and then and then the gunshots. After the shooting, the BMW drove the wrong way down a one way street, slamming head on into a tree. 42 year old Quentin Hicks died from his injuries. His 31 year old passenger is recovering. It scares the crap out of me. People who live in the area say the whole ordeal is concerning and unsettling, but they're glad no one else was hit when the bullets started flying. And there's always people walking their dogs. Um, you know, kids across the street are always playing around the same time. I mean, if she would have been here three minutes earlier, she could have been shot. I mean, that's. That's just crazy. Now they're just hoping for some answers and peace of mind. It's uh, just kind of out of character for this neighborhood. And um, I think a lot of the neighbors would feel better knowing that it's resolved and, and someone's off the street that is potentially extremely dangerous. Investigators say the blue SUV the gunman was driving might be a Hyundai Santa Fe. Anyone with information is urged to call Crime Stoppers. You could be eligible for up to a $3,000 reward for information. Mark. Yeah, let's hope our viewers come through on this one. Uh, we need to find him for sure. Catherine, thanks.